0.2 gigabytes left. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of The Holy Post. Uh, we haven't been able to do one of these in a few weeks since I've, I was at Priest Convocation and then those two summer camps, but I am back. And we are joined this week from the good folks at Henninger's. Henninger's uh, Church Supply in Cleveland. Uh, they are the ones who have been working feverishly on our stained glass windows for the past 15 months. And I know you've been saying to me, Father, when are they coming back? Are we even going to get them back? One person said, I know what you did. You just you, you actually sold them all, uh, you know, to get some extra money for the, the church. We did not. But these guys, okay, uh, and even though these guys have uh, faces made for radio, we're putting them on the holy post uh, today. So we got Christian, and we got Joe, and we got Dennis, and they are putting in our windows. But here's... I, Dennis was telling me the, the story about like what they actually do. So this explains why it takes forever. So Dennis, like, I mean, like, what do you, what do they have to do in order to get these? Like, what do you guys do? Well, when we get after we get them out, and we get them back to the shop. We have to put each window in a soap tank for a week with a mild soap, so that all the old putty inside the windows, you can crumble it and take it apart, and then you can actually cut each piece of glass out. When each goes out, it's physically scrubbed with a wire brush. And everything. Each end of it, like this piece, is every that piece, every, that piece. Yeah, every single piece. And before they do that, I got to make a rubbing so that they know exactly how the window gets put back together. That would so, be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so it is very meticulous and uh, very hard work. And then, a lot, as you can tell, each piece is soldered. And any broken pieces in there, they got to get copper foiled, and that also has to be soldered on before it even gets put back into the window. Fascinating. Fascinating, and so then they gotta then so then they solder it all back in. But then you gotta have these little bar things, right? Because these keep it. Yes, you know, all actually before the bar gets put in, it gets put back on a table. And more, the the glazing putty gets scrubbed inside the window, and then they got the white powder that gets thrown on there, and then it has to sit for a week, so the, all the oil from that putty drains down, and it has to be cleaned, and then the bars get put on. Wow. That's interesting. And then, obviously, we get our windows back. Now we're going to go into the, the church because, again, I know you've all been waiting for this. Um, they've gotten a few of them already back in. So this is exciting. And so here we are. And that, this is the window that you know you always felt bad for the poor people that were, were sitting right here because that sun would just come on in and you would get a suntan at mass whether you wanted it or not. Okay? And so this, they just put this in. So how do you go about like putting it in? I know that there had to be some custom made trim pieces and all that type of stuff. So like what do you, how do you make sure that it doesn't fall out? Uh, we got the little small, small screws or we can use like old style tacks that you actually hammer in. Then you pinch the lead and you go through the lead and into the backstop of the window. Uh, once that's all in, you can seal it up and then you get your custom made outside molding which then gets shot into the and pressed against the window. So like how do you get to be stained glass guys? How did this, I mean Christian you've been working for six months at this, right? Uh, so how did you get I actually work with my father, Dennis. Oh, this is your dad? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, wow. So that's how I got into that business. But uh, other than that, I think it's a, a blessing. Yeah. You know, Because I, I can't imagine people a uh, better job than this. Very cool. Joe, what about you? How'd you end up here? Uh, the owners, I am family friends with the owners. So I've been with the company for almost 10 years now. So oh. I usually do office work, but I get thrown out into the field every once in a while. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Fascinating. Here's the big question. Have you ever dropped any stained glass windows. That piece right there? No, I'm just... <laughs> I, I, okay. Yeah, we, there's always a comedian around here, isn't there? Always a comedian. Yeah. Have you guys ever dropped it? Yes. It, like shattered? Yeah, we was uninstalling a window, um, and it was on the sled and everything, and the sled slid off the scaffolding and went face first down to the ground. Oh. So how did you inform the pastor of that one? Uh, he walked out of the church as it was happening. <laughs> <laughs> he probably didn't want to say something he, he in the say. church that, yeah, that, that would be bad. What? When, when we got it back to him, he would never have known it was broke. 
Nice. None of, not all. You can fix it all. Well, this is, a, I mean, it's a real art, you know, and a science, obviously. Yes. Uh, but we certainly are appreciative of the, the good folks at Henningers for doing that and uh, making sure that this happens. So I think we got two more windows yet to do here. Uh, and then we'll, all the windows will be uh, completely done, replaced, or not replaced, but um, reinforced and things like that. So a great process, certainly uh, we have a beautiful church and it's wonderful uh, to have these windows back. We're excited, uh, this upcoming weekend we are bringing back the precious blood, so thank God for that. Uh, again, um, it might be a little confusing or some, maybe some details, but whatever, we're trying uh, to do that, trying to figure out how much to consecrate, all those different things. So just be patient with us, but we're excited to bring back the precious blood. Uh, and then on Monday night we have our encounter evening. So encounter praise and worship, adoration, confession, uh, praise and worship, music, uh, all that stuff. And it's, so just looking forward to that on Monday night at 7 p.m. So uh, nonetheless, it is good to be back here for a little while after these weeks of camp uh, and getting fairly well rested. We're trying, though. Uh, we're trying. So nonetheless, uh, gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, you guys... You guys did pretty well. I think we'd, we'd hire you back for this, you know, for another episode of the Holy Post. So take care, everybody, and God bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.